Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Lori and I'm a makeup artist and image consultant from Toronto. I love helping women look their best and feel their best. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sharing with you how I did my makeup and what products that I used. I did not use too many products so definitely keep watching if you're interested in knowing how I got this look. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and as usual, I'll get right to it. <clears throat> Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a eye <clears throat> primer. This is a Maybelline Master Prime um, Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base. So I'm going to start with putting that all over my eyes, like my eyelid, before I put on my eyeshadow. This eyeshadow palette is by Revolution Beauty London and it's called Intensely Pigmented Foil Eyeshadow Palette. I'm applying the gold shade to my eyelid and I'm bringing it up a little bit to the crease. So as you can see, um, I'm using my fingertips to apply it because it goes on even better that way. Make sure you wash your hands. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be applying that shade. Um, it's kind of like a brownish shade to the crease. I'm making a V, like a V shape to the outer V. And by the way, I have deep set eyes, so I apply my shades um, like this, particularly to bring my eyes out a little bit more. It's deep into the socket, so this is flattering for me if you have a different eye shape. I'll be coming out with an ebook or some more tutorials um, that will showcase some techniques that you can use to bring out your features in a flattering way. Sometimes you follow a tutorial and it doesn't come out looking right because your eye shape is just different. So I'm going to apply this color um, right here. I find that with these shimmery colors it's better to use your fingers. Uh, for certain areas because it just comes down better um, than using a brush so you definitely want to make sure that you take that into account if you're having problems with it um, and I just got this one from uh, the drugstore it looked like nice so I just picked it out a lot of the shelves were like empty so I just had to get whatever I could um, but I'm going to go back and try and blend these two, like the, the brown and the color that I just put up here so that um, they blend together a bit better. I'm going to bring it in a little bit right in here. Not too much though. Kind of want it to be sort of like a gradient effect coming into the this portion of the eye. And yeah, you can still use this brush. I think this is, uh, it's by Maybelline. I, it looks like it's, I'm not sure if it's synthetic or not, but I just kind of know which ones that will work for me. Um, and yeah, just a little bit more up here. So this is really good. Okay, and I'm just blending that in together. Just gonna keep blending that. So, because my eyes are like shimmery, like more of like the glittery shimmery type of, which I love, I'm just such a fan of um, just glitter. I'm not gonna be using a lot of like glitter on my face. I'm gonna keep the rest of my face sort of more matte. Okay, and I'm just gonna go back in with the original eyeshadow color that I put on my lid and I'm gonna apply that just to make sure it didn't wash out at all from the other shades. So now that that's done, um, when it comes to like the eyeshadow, like you definitely want to pay attention to detail. So I am gonna go back in with a pencil, pencil brush and I'm gonna go in um, to the inner corners of the eye because I noticed like right here it's like something like it's like missing so I'm gonna go in with this color that I used for 
um, over here and I'm gonna put it in the inner corner just so that you know the eye area is, looks complete and not like oh I missed a spot you know you gotta make sure that it's co covered on all angles So now I'm just going to clean up the eye area with uh, makeup wipe and I haven't done the bottom portion like the under eye like over here because I'm going to put on my foundation first. I have oily um, acne prone skin, sensitive skin, I'm allergic to certain like fragrances and stuff like that so I definitely try to stay fragrance free. Um, but sometimes like the acne medication dries out my skin so i do need a really good moisturizer um so for today what i'm going to be using is the clinique um clinique uh, beyond perfecting foundation and concealer i use the the one in sand for now um as um, the summer comes in i probably will have to go a shade deeper but this is what i'm using for now I'm just going to put that all over my face and blend it in with a, I have different brushes um, for today. I'll be using uh, this flat, uh, it's by NYX, this flat tip brush and I'm just going to place that and tap it in into the skin. And so I have like a bit of a childhood, like a scar on my forehead right here so I usually I'm gonna go over that with a bit of a heavier um, concealer that I have or I'll just um, I'll add um, a little bit more actually no I'm gonna go get it so this is the um, matte concealer that I have in NC. So this is the matte concealer that I have in NW35. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty thick. So I'm going to use... This is like an angle brush, but I like it because it's kind of stiff. And I'm just going to take some of that and just pat it into on top of my scar okay and I'm just gonna pat it into there top 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 and then I'm just gonna go in and just sort of go in and blend it out all around Now I do go a bit heavy with this area, but then I kind of, I blend it out like as I go around. And then I have another um, acne scar here, so I'll just add a little bit of that over here. But that's it, you don't want to like go overboard. Another MAC concealer here, here I just use this one just to contour um, a little bit like under my eye. And just kind of like brighten it up, brighten it up <laughs> a little bit. And this one is really long lasting, but you definitely don't want to go too heavy with it because it will crease. So you just want to add a little bit. And this is in NC30. Okay. Now because I do have another scar on my nose, I don't usually go over it, but um, it's like right here, it's from a nose ring that I used to have. Um, so I'm going to go back with the NC, uh, NW35 and just pat that on there. It really does a really great job at covering these kinds of scars.
and because like sometimes when the makeup goes like around the nose and it kind of just settles in the corner right here I'll kind of like avoid that area of putting any foundation there I'm kind of wiping it off a bit and I'll let the powder foundation because um, I'm gonna go over with some powder to do to handle that area because when I have a big chunk of makeup around your nose it's just no <laughs> But the powder is not as, it's more forgiving. Okay, so now that that's done and I have my foundation on, I definitely am going to apply powder because my skin is very oily. I'm going to be applying the, this is Cover FX, it kind of broke a bit, but it's um, the blotting powder, but I use it. Um, as like a regular powder. I, li I really like Cover FX, they're really good. I like Cover FX and I like MAC, um, Derma Bland, L'Oreal, NYX. Uh, I have a lot of products that, brands that I use more often than others, but I'm always willing to try new things. So yeah, so I'm applying that under my eye definitely to set the concealer first. And I'm gonna put it, put it pretty much everywhere You know, because I'm already starting to kind of get oily so I apply that pretty much everywhere even up here where I put the concealer okay so that's looking good and now I'm going to apply um, I have like a other oh yeah fit me um, Maybelline I like too um, it's a bit of a darker one it's um, 330 uh, toffee caramel so it's from the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless and I'm gonna apply that at the bottom because the bottom of my skin like this part is usually like a little bit darker like naturally your skin is not just one color all over and I'll apply that on my forehead too. I kind of just like, kind of tap it in and not like rub it. Try to like be conscious of that because you're just gonna be rubbing off um, the product, like the foundation and everything. So you kind of want to just tap it in. Okay. So um, you could add lashes at this point or before, like if you wanted to, before you did your mascara, but today I don't want to add any lashes. Um, I just want to keep it more like just natural. And sometimes when you add like really big lashes, it kind of hides like the eyeshadow because the lashes are so thick and you can't really see it as much as if you just kept it like more of a natural um, lashes. So sometimes that's why I don't like to do that. But sometimes I do, you can still see it, like, see through it, like, not as much, but <laughs> you can still see it. Um, so I'm going to apply a little bit of um, contour, like, usually I, I like to focus it here uh, the most. So, which one am I going to use today? I'm going to use the, oh, it broke a bit. This is um, what I'm going to use, it's a Makeup Forever one. And I'm going to use that, uh, let's see, I have another, okay. I'm going to use this brush and I'm just going to tap it in a little bit and I'm going to put it a little like right here, you know, just a little goes a long way. Just want to bring back the natural contour. Just a little bit. I'm gonna blend, bring it up a little bit on the sides just to, um, just you know, blend it out. Okay. And 
and for my nose I'm not gonna contour it uh, but I'm gonna add a little bit of sheen right here on the highlighter I mean so I have the um, glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just gonna apply um, some highlighter like I said to the bridge of my nose and I think I'm gonna go with this color right here it's very beautiful I'm just gonna apply that right right there and I'm just gonna blend it out again but and yes you do want to make sure you wash your hands before you do your makeup very very important I'm just gonna add like a little bit there just you know kind of like bring it out but I'm not gonna contour my nose um, I do sometimes but not today um, so moving forward I'm going to just go over my eyebrows um, just to make sure that I remove any excess powder or anything that might have went on it like so and yeah what I usually do is I have like a clear mascara and I kind of like go over it at times so this is the clear one from Maybelline and just to set it um, to make sure that it doesn't move around with the wind because that might happen because my eyebrows are quite thick um I'll just do that or sometimes if I'll touch my face or I'll do I don't know I'll go on my eyebrows like all over the place so uh, I do like to do that with it okay so I have two options um I have uh, a red that I just got yesterday um it's a matte Lee in Love 102 by um, L'Oreal Paris and I also have these um, nude lipsticks from, um, like this is Kate London, Romel London, London and this is um, I don't know <laughs> it's it's this color it's like they're like nudes um, it's a uh, stormy Sahara and yeah it's Maybelline so and the other one is um, number 40 it just says number 43 um kate london doesn't have a name on it um but so it's, it's a lasting finish so um i'm gonna go with the nude uh just to see how that looks i got a brown uh, liner i couldn't find my brown lip liner by mac probably around here somewhere so i got a substitution and this is a kind of like a brown Okay, I'm gonna go back in a little bit more lipstick. So this is one version of it, and I really, really want to go in with the red. Okay. Now, if you get like anything over the like lip, I'm just gonna go in with my concealer and just kind of like correct it. Cause you don't want it to be like on your arm. This area, unless it's intentional. Now I'm just gonna go over any okay so yeah I do like the red as well um, let me know which color do you think the nude do you think the red which one do you like the best but I do like um, I like both you know you can switch your lip color anytime that you want Okay, so I've decided to go with the red. I really think that it flatters the whole hair, eyeshadow, and makeup that I have going on right now. So definitely comment down below. Let me know if you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. 
and I will be coming out with a lot more, uh, hopefully, a lot more hair or um, makeup tutorials in the near future. So take care, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.